possession of the ball. Really well worked again. Oh, just over his head, yeah. Fell down at the last moment, but Mullet has curled one back. It was brave stuff to let it go. It was a terrific goal. Well, lead by just over two goals now. It's a really promising start for North Melbourne. Really hit the nail on the head there. You have a look at the the uncontested marks you talk about and what it does it, it does open up the zone but you've got to be precise with the kicking you have a look at the kicking efficiency for both teams at the moment Out wide, good run from behind from Grimer and he gets it deep Petrie goes off his man to try and create his own run at the ball at the bottom of it is Thomas enormous stress on Selwood Thomas left them behind and got it on the two what a goal the old rabbit out of the hat he just kept at it and that's a great example for any youngster watching. You're never out of the game. He's, he thought, well, jo Joel Selwood's bearing down at me, the, the Geelong captain, but I'll just keep adding that. He, a little bit of a fumble there. We've got Joel Selwood, one of the toughest players in the comp. Went to ground, got up again. Yeah, that's a great goal. Yes. Magnificent goal. It's all seven of their goals have come from as a result of stoppage. So I think, as you said, Spud, they're actually... Last week, they didn't get the results in terms of goals yeah. from stoppages. They beat Collingwood at the stoppages. This week, they're getting results. So he's at least trying to win the ball for his team, James Kelly. Back it goes to Ferrito. Again, he can sense that he can gain some ground here for North. And some more. Good thinking by the big number 11. Back it goes to Ferrito. Again, he can sense that he can gain some ground here for North. And some more. Good thinking by the big number 11. 5-2 two, to 2-4 two, for the quarter. The Kangaroos, West for Chapman. And coming off the line, Mackey. Oh, the desperation was brilliant from Zeebel. And now Geelong with six seconds to go. And great Scott, more importantly, the way that the North players have implemented that this plan. Desperation here. Yeah. And that's been a bit of the difference too. I think the want, want to play for each other and... Oh, could have been a free kick against Podsy Adley. Not so. Christensen collides with McMillan and is the oh, worst great for contest, it. Both those boys. Yeah, what a what McMillan, what yeah. an outstanding effort there's to recognise the danger there. I think there's a head clash there. Yeah, yeah. He oh, has great coach both boys. Well. Oh, this the intensity of this game and just the fitness I think for the both sides is really going to be tested now. Oh Lindsay Thomas is off the chain here too, boys. You look at the numbers they've got forward. The give from McMahon. Thomas, time, looking for five. What a glorious day out for Lindsay Thomas. That's a magnificent goal, and I'll be going back to McMillan. The, yeah. the spoil, that should have been a mark for Geelong. It was just a magnificent contest from both boys. And you say defence doesn't create scoring opportunities. There it is here, Spud. Oh, great call, Outstanding, yeah. both boys. I'll tell you that the first sort of four or five minutes have been messy from a disposal point of view, had not it? It's really going to be the team that's a bit more composed. That's a lovely kick over the top to McMahon. Nice controlled handball, hits the target, and then Lindsay Thomas sums it up beautifully. But it is going to be the team that stays composed, Hutto, uses the ball well, that's going to win this game. But that's a critical, critical goal at the 14 points.